So how are you? Um, this is Evangelist Ife Stanley. Um, today is uh, the 13th of October 2016. It's a day after the Hanukkah. Well, not the Hanukkah. The atonement. The day of atonement. A day after the day of atonement. Yeah. And um, obviously, like um, the uh, we all know what the atonement is for, right? Yes. In the, in the land of uh, Israel, in the Old Testament, right? The, um, the children of Israel we are allowed to make atonement for their sins and they were allowed to slaughter animals okay to like um make atonement for their sins right but uh, on the very day that Jesus Christ came and died on the cross yes for mankind the uh, animal sacrifice ceased right okay but but even up to date the children of Israel still have not given up that animal sacrifice you know they're still kind of making sacrifices you know, and they have rejected what Jesus Christ did for them on the cross, you know. Okay. So, um, that's what the atonement is all about. That's what, what the yeah, Feast of Atonement and all of that is all about, you know. But uh, this morning, I had a revelation. Okay, God about? gave me, like, yeah, it's a dream, like, a, kind of a, a revelation, a dream, you know. And um, I saw, like, the land of Israel, right? I yeah. saw the country, Israel itself. Yeah. And um, I saw that there was a cross positioned on the ground right a, a very strong cross and uh, the children of israel the people around the muslims and the Jew jewish people they were trying their best to destroy this cross they were wow. trying their best to demolish the cross that was firmly positioned on the ground wow. and uh, yeah it's, it's kind of strange isn't it it's, it's so weird and the kind of the way that they hate christianity the way that they hate god in the land of israel you know the way that they don't want to have anything to do with jesus you know so they were trying so hard in this dream, right, to take away that cross, to destroy the cross. But the cross refused to, to be bent. Mm -hmm. You know, it, they, it refuses to be uprooted, you know. And um, what baffled me was that I saw another cross kind of a, attached to that particular cross, right. And the people were just going to the cross and they were nailing, nailing it. They were, you know, hammering it. They were hammering some nails on it, you know, which meant, which would uh, symbolize rejection of God. Of, of Jesus, they are they're up, up until today. They are still rejecting Jesus Christ. They are still trying to end their way. They are, they are still trying to, you know, accept. They are still trying to offer up to God yeah. sacrifices to make atonement for their sins. And yet they are rejecting what God did for them on the cross. Jesus Christ Himself, God incarnate, coming down to die for them on the cross. They are rejecting that, but they are putting their hopes on animals, the blood of bulls and the blood of the lambs. Or, yeah. and chicken and all of those things yeah. and turtle doves to make, to wash away their sins you understand which is kind of strange you know so in in this dream then they were trying they were still na nailing him hammering nails on on that cross you know and i, I was like oh, my goodness what's going on here you know but but what caught my attention mo more was i saw another man right it was as though this man is a christian he understood what jesus did on the cross right he understood that Jesus died to pay uh, for the sins of the world, right? Yes. But he was not confident enough to give, give everything to God. He was not confident enough to surrender his whole heart to God. What he what he was trying to do was um, he was trying to offer God money. I saw him. He, he, he took out a stack of cash like this, you know, a stack of cash, and he took out the biggest notes. One of the biggest notes he had was fifty euro, and what he did was he just walked around and he dropped it on the floor. Wow. And he was trying to get people to take to take the money to that <laughs> cross. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which is very strange. Yes, you know. So 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 he he was trying to do do it that way. You know, he was trying to bribe God for wow. for atonement. Wow. You understand? Wow. He, he, in a way, he he didn't want to surrender his heart fully to God, but he was trying to bribe God. It's just like what is going on in the churches, right? A man or a man or woman would would go to a pastor. And give money and say, Pastor, pray, pray for, for me. me. You understand? <laughs> Why would you do that? Come on, yeah. You, you have to repent. You, it has to come from the heart. That's what God is looking for. A broken spirit and a contrite heart. You understand? That's what that's what God is seeking for. You understand? But the man took the money and dropped it on the floor. And I was like, why would you drop it on the floor? God is not like a dog. You don't carry money and drop on the floor. Oh, and you're saying it's for God. God is not like a dog. Mm -hmm. You understand? What he's look, He doesn't need your money. I was telling him, go, go to the cross, go to your father, go there, go there and, 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 you know, show him that you're sorry. You know, you know what I mean? I didn't say that, but that's what I meant. Go, go to your father, you know, instead of just dropping money here on the, on the floor. 
you know. So people were trying to persuade him to go because some other people there they were mourning. They were mourning, you know, this they were was weeping. Still in your dream. Yeah, in this, in, the, in the same dream, you know, wow. some other people there they were weeping. Wow. You know, and only a few people understood what God did. Yeah. The pains that he went through. You know what I mean? The, the Bible says uh, uh, the Bible says that uh, Jesus was saying, I gave my back to those that struck my back. I gave my cheek to those that pluck out the beard and my back to those that struck me. I did not hide my face from shame and spitting. So those who understood the pain and the agony he took for God to give his only son. Yeah. They, they were mourning, they were weeping. Whereas all the people who did not understand what it meant were going there and hammering, nailing, nailing it. And, and the other guy was trying to offer money for atonement. You understand? You can understand the frustration of God at this point. Yes. You know, you can understand if you were God, if we were like God, God would be very angry. God would be very mad. So when the man went up to, to that cross to put the money down, I heard a very loud sound, like a thunder, even worse than the sound of a thunder. And it struck the man down immediately. It struck him. Oh the, the man went down immediately and everybody trembled. Even I was afraid as well. Even I became, for the first time in a, in a dream, I had the fear of God, you know. I've always had the fear of God, you know, but this time I was On very afraid. On a different level. Different level. I was, you know, remember like Uza in the, in the Old Testament, Uza, when... When David observed Uzzah and Uzzah went to the Ark of the Covenant and tried to touch the Ark of the Covenant that he was, wasn't supposed to touch and God struck him right there. You, you know the way David was so afraid and say, uh, and he said, I, I don't want this Ark of Covenant in my house. Yeah. You know, that's that's how I felt in this dream, man. I, I, I was like, oh, oh my, oh my. I didn't even see who struck the thing. I can't see anybody. I know that I heard a sound. And that means he's observing me as well. What if what if he finds a fault in me? What if he strikes me? You know, you know what I mean. I was afraid. I was afraid for my life, even you know. But I knew God was trying, showing me this, to, to 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 for me to understand the kind of frustration that he's he's facing right now. You know, because of what is going on in the world, because of the rejection of God, because of the love of money, the love of money in yeah. the churches. Pe you know. People are practically thinking that you can buy you can buy salvation or you can buy atonement with money. You understand? It's terrible. It is. You know? And and the children of Israel, the people in, in, in the land of Israel, the Jews, are still rejecting God, thinking that there's another way to heaven. There is no listen carefully. People, there is no other way to heaven. There is no other way to the Father except through me. Jesus Christ made it categorically clear. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. There is no other way to heaven. It's not through any other means. There's, God is not a man that he should lie. He will never ever lie. He has nothing to prove to you. He has nothing to prove to us. It's either his way or no way. You know what I mean? So that's what God is trying to convey to people now. It's not the, the what is going to save people. What is going to save us is not the, 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 the blood sacrifice. It's not the blood sacrifice of animals. It's not the, the blood of bull, it's not the, bull, the blood of the lamb, and it's not the blood of money either. Sacrifices, it's not, it's not the sacrifice of money either, right? That's, that kind of sacrifice won't get you atonement either. That's what God is making clear to us. The sacrifice of animals will not save anybody. The sacrifice of money will not save anybody. What God is after is your heart. Your heart first. That's what God is after. If, if your heart is right, then your sacrifice will be acceptable. That's, that's the difference between Cain and Abel. The, the heart of, of Abel was right. The heart of Cain was not right. If your heart is right, then God will accept your sacrifice. Then God will accept your money. But if your heart is rotten, he will not accept it. And it becomes like abomination. You see, what also struck me in it is, that, was that, is, is this, that um, God, was, God did not strike down dead those guys who were coming to nail him. You know, you know why he didn't strike them dead? He was very patient. Because they don't really know him. But this man knew him. He knew all, all about him. And yet he came with a wicked heart. To try to buy his way. To try to buy atonement with, with money. So that's, that's what's going on right now. God is not pleased. God is not happy with what's going on. The rest of the world, they understand what's, what's going to happen. They know what's going to happen. Like Putin right now is calling on his people to come back home. You know. And, and yet we Christians are, are like messing about. You know, we're supposed to be telling people to come home to their father, to their father in heaven. We're supposed to gather the people to be ready for, you know, the end, to be ready for the return of Jesus Christ. But we're not doing it, you know. So I'm hoping that uh, somebody is going to listen to this message today and would want to repent.
and would Amen. ask God for forgiveness and would Amen. pray for the land in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you all for listening.